and BDN. Eastern Maine Healthcare System says it is ending partnerships with Bangor and Portland after the two cities moved to file lawsuits accusing it and national pharmaceutical manufacturers of playing a key role in the opioid crisis. EMHS said in a Thursday news release it decided to take the action because of concern that some physicians, formerly employed by EMHS member organizations, could be named in the suit as a legal tactic to keep the cases in Maine state courts. Portland has named two former EMHS doctors in its $1 billion lawsuit in Bangor, which hasn't yet filed its lawsuit, is expected to. One of the doctors who formerly worked for an EMHS organization named in Portland's suit is Mark E. Sienowski, MD, of Portland. We wish them well in their lawsuit against pharma manufacturers and distributors but are disheartened by the inclusion of main physicians, which puts in peril all the good work we were doing with our valued partners to address the opioid abuse epidemic, EMHS said in the release. Suzanne Spruce, Chief Communications Officer for EMHS, said on Thursday the organization was extremely disheartened with the entire situation and shocked when it learned what was happening. We spent some time trying to gather our information to process what was happening and came to the realization that this is what we had to do, she said. In addition to ending partnerships with the Community Health Leadership Board in Bangor and the Greater Portland Addiction Collaborative, two groups made up of community leaders who have worked mitigate the opioid crisis by making Narcan more available, re-establishing drug court and putting grant money to use by offering social detox programs. EMHS is also likely to end partnerships with other main communities that have joined the litigation, which include Waterville and Lewiston, it said. Opioid overdoses kill Mainers at a rate of about one per day. Bangor and Portland contend that there is a direct link between the nation's drug abuse epidemic and drug makers marketing prescription opioids. In the last six months Bangor and Portland city councillors voted to join dozens of municipalities and counties across the country and file suits against big pharma manufacturers and distributors. Last June, Maine Attorney General Janet Mills joined attorneys general from nearly 40 other states to investigate the practices of opioid manufacturers. Other main cities, including Waterville and Lewiston, also elected to take up litigation.